right guys what is up and welcome back to the channel so right here we have ruby i'm about to give her a wash because i actually took her off-roading a little bit earlier last week and she ended up deep in mud and she still needs a deep cleaning even though i already had already washed her but you know she still got mud and stuff somewhere down there so i'm gonna give her a wash and then you guys will see the big announcement well as you guys could tell from the thumbnail of this video we are going boost on ruby so we're super excited for that packages just arrived and i'll show you guys that in a minute after i'm done washing ruby so right here we have ruby all washed up now looking all clean so before i get started on opening up the packages which are right over there i do want to say that we have a show on this upcoming week so this video you guys are seeing it look at that purple damn so this upcoming Saturday, Tuner Evolution at the Anaheim Convention Center. That's where we're going to be at. We posted up, me and George, at the Next Level Carbon booth. So catch us there if you guys want to come by and check out the cars. So before we get started on opening up the boxes and showing you guys that, they want to say that this engine does have 248,000 miles. Original miles, original motor, transmission, and everything. So I'm not entirely sure how well this engine is going to do going boost on it so we will see when you know the time comes when we tune the car and all that but for now you know engine looks pretty good i do want to paint out the sides in black just to have everything blacked out but for now this is how ruby's doing it de rev up engines not the normal de there there's the de the de rev up and then there's the hr and then vhr um but this is the de rev up Plus, as well, you know, I have the Cosworth Plenum that's designed for boost. So we will see how much horsepower we end up getting in total at the very end. So uh, luckily, I already have stage three clutch as well. So I don't have to worry about the transmission issues or clutch slipping or any of that. So there we have it. Let's get started on opening these up. I did open this one up just a tiny bit just to look inside and then... There's this, this one I haven't opened up, but let's get started on opening these. Also, before I get started on opening up the packages, I do want to say, since we're going Twin Turbo on Ruby, we are not going to be doing the Z Project anymore. So Z Project is, <laughs> so the Z Project is going to be sold this month. It's already someone that kept bugging me about it. <laughs> so every time I would post it, would always tell me if I wanted to sell it to him. I offered it to him first, and he said he wants it. So he's going to be taking the Z project with along with the VHR motor and transmission is going to be going with him. So that's basically going to fund the twin turbo project on Ruby. All right, so here we have it. We ended up opening it a little bit, but let's get this fully opened up. Well, we got Mars, who is also going to be going twin turbo this year. You know, uh, you want to explain why you haven't gone twin turbo yet? I'm paying off my debts, but uh, for sure this year I'll I'll get that thing boosted and with the color a new color well wrapping the the G as well. And you guys have it, so new color and boost coming soon. But okay, here we go. <laughs> right away, we got boost gauges right here. I'm not entirely sure air fuel ratio. I'm not sure what this one. This PSI. Those are good brands. Pro Sport? Yeah. Pro Sport. Pro Sport gauges. So I'm pretty sure these light up in blue. I'm going to have to figure out where to put these. I'm pretty sure he, this guy had them in the little cubby hole in the center console in the middle. Or at least I think he, that's where he had them. But it's like all the plugs are in there and stuff. So we'll figure out the wiring and where to place these later on. All right. Oh, damn. So we have a big mess right here. All right. I'm not sure, even sure where to start. All right, let's get it. <laughs> I don't even know where to start. All right, we've got a gasket right here. <laughs> we'll start with the gasket. We have one of the turbo manifolds right here. Look at that. Ooh, we got quite a bit. Of, we're gonna have to clear that out for sure. But, bam, heat wrapped and everything. There we go. One of the manifolds with an open or cut pipe right here. 
Yeah, we're definitely gonna have to clean that out. This is a downpipe. Ooh, so many parts. And we got, we got the blow valve right here. All right, so. gonna go exactly maybe something like this I think this one goes right here but next. this one's got all the old two sensors in it a lot of the wiring more wiring we'll just put these off to the sides for now we'll put this on separate ready not entirely sure what this is, but we got it. Oh, this is for the gauges, I'm guessing. Gauges. Boost controller. Or trip <clears throat> timer? I'm not exactly sure which one this is. Boost controller. I have the Take same one. one. I have the same one, yeah. Oh, it's got missing the little <coughs> screws, so I'm gonna have to be careful with this. Yep. Right there. And then we got more wiring right here. I'm guessing fuel system. Yeah, it's got a little gauge on it as well. And right here we have other manifold that we're definitely gonna have to rewrap this one in some heat wrap. Blow these out, make sure they're clean as well. Or the turbo doesn't no doesn't get held up. Mm. Help. Yeah, like that on the side. <clears throat> um, related. Looks like he forgot his socket, 14 millimeter Milwaukee. <laughs> here, what do we have in here? It's closed. Fuel injectors. Not entirely sure what brand these are. Or what the CC is on these. So right here we have injectors. We'll put off to this side as well. See what we got here. Piping, the map sensor. So there's that. Right, let's get this big piece out of the way. <laughs> oh yeah. Ready. So right here we have the Greddy intercooler. Sheesh. It's a big piece. gonna go like so <laughs> so the complicated part about this is that I'm not sure if it's gonna clear the IPL bumper so that's gonna be something that I'm gonna have to figure out whether it means I'm gonna have to trim the IPL bumper from the back or something I'm not entirely sure but we'll figure it out once the time comes a lot of this stuff I want to make sure I, when we put it on is uh, make it as neat as possible because I do like having the engine bay looking as tidy as it can. The simpler, cleaner look, the better. Yep, a lot of couplings look like seeds inside a bunch of them all together, so keep that. Bunch of clamps. Yeah. <clears throat> and then more wiring. Couplings, couplings, and more couplings. So I think that's about it in this box. So I'm gonna throw all the wiring and cables in here. I don't wanna lose any of this stuff. Actually, the triple time room, I'm gonna pull out it from here and just put that off to the side. This box out of the way. So I'm guessing that in this one, you guys can see they weren't in the other package this is where the turbo is going to be at <laughs> all right there we go this was basically my christmas present to myself got a little elbow some more pipes right here the other 
downpipe with the O2 sensor. We've got some heat shields for the turbos. Probably gonna have to replace this one. This one looks okay. We have a lot of the piping right here. Oh, yep. So I'm definitely gonna replace these filters. Probably get some uh, gritty, some gritty ones for sure. Definitely gonna be a puzzle to figure out. Ready. And then last but not least, <laughs> the hub. <laughs> Turbo kit. The actual turbos. Do want to get this hose clamp off? But all right, so right here we have one. Move that right there. And right here, let's check this one out. Yeah. And right here. We have the second turbo. Checking for shaft play, but then we're good. This is the way. Sheesh. <laughs> what the hell? Twin turbo, Grady twin turbo kit for Ruby, even Grady intercooler, all the pipings included. Basically everything that the guy had for the car is already um, included. So as in his words, it's basically bolt on, car's ready to go and tune. <clears throat> I think he had stock fuel pump. So I think I could use the same one I have, but later on I will be using Mars's fuel pump. I forgot which one you have. Uh, the dish, uh, ditch works. Ditch works. No, but the one that you have on right now. That one, yeah. Up oh, well oh, board yeah. or something like that. Yeah, it's the yeah. same as the injectors yeah. that I have on. Yeah, so same brand. that's what we're gonna be doing. So we'll see how much horsepower we end up getting. I am gonna ask Sebastian at Special TZ to include a map for 91 gas and then include a map for E85 because I do want to tune it on E85 to see how much power I can get out of it. My only other, other concern is that the Cosworth has the carbon end caps, not the metal ones. So you can't put, uh, you can't be pushing too much boost because you can blow off the end caps. But uh, so uh, Isaac was saying, when we get tuned, we'll bring a trailer just in case. But there we have it, guys. Whole turbo kit. I'm not exactly entirely sure how this all pieces together, but you know we'll figure it out. Uh, I'll probably download the. The, what do you call it the pdf um from Greddy on how to install all of this and then we'll check that out uh i might take it to adam to get it installed we'll do it at his place i'll be there to help him out and you know because I, I know he has experience on turbo installing turbo kits and this would be my first time installing a turbo kit so i you know i don't want to take on this project by myself especially with the whole uh wiring and airlines and all that stuff it gets pretty confusing so i'd rather have him install it I'll be there to help for whatever he needs me for. And then I do also, since, you know, it's a show car as well. Uh, I do want to polish out um, all the piping, the intercooler, make it look as neat and clean as possible. I'm debating if I should just take it to George and have him powder coat all the piping in the chrome polish look. So, you know, it kind of like saves me the time of actually polishing it and just have it powder, comb, powder coated chrome. And then, you know, I don't have to worry about that, at least for the piping turbos. I'm not going to, you know, polish them up. It doesn't matter. They're going to be tucked away in the bottom. All this will be powder coated in chrome. That blow of valve might have it. If I could take it apart, I'll probably powder coat it in the candy purple as well. 
the waste gates are going to be down on the bottom so you're not even going to be able to see them so i'll just leave those be as well but there we have it twin turbo kit soon for ruby Never thought I'd be going turbo in my car. It's gonna be the end of today's video, guys. All we're doing right now was just unboxing. The package just arrived earlier this week and this is my first time actually opening it up and checking it out. But that's gonna be the end of today's video, guys. Uh, you know, just unboxing, but letting you guys know what's to come for 2022. A boost on Ruby for sure. Then maybe after that, we'll look into starting a new project car. So, you know, comment down below what you guys would want to see as a project car. Maybe we'll get another 350Z and do the actual VHR motor swap how we had planned. But for now, the one that I do have is going to be sold this month. Thank you guys for always supporting the channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.